Hello everyone, back to to today's first video, to jam a Friday for today's first video, so this is your month ahead look at as was well on a Friday, we're having a detailed look at over the coming months. So we're going to see what's happening with the JMA, what that's forecasting uh, for the next month, and then we'll have a look at CFSV2 and compare the two, and uh, we'll see what the trends are. Uh, for June. So this is going to be a June look ahead, uh, if you like. Uh, coming up later on this afternoon, here on the homepage at gasoffice.com, we're going to have your week's 10 day video update, and that, of course, will have all of the usual features in it. So we're going to start off with the JMA. These are the 500 bit of our high to double is broken down into weekly pairs. We're looking at the North Pole view down, first of all. This is the North Pole of the Northern Hemisphere just here. The latitudes of the Northern Hemisphere are around there. So uh, blue is extrapolating to below average heights, which is low pressure, yellow, orange and red extrapolating to above average heights, which is high pressure. Uh, these are the mean flow charts for the uh, next four weeks. So this is week one, we do week two, and then we get to weeks three and four after that. So this is how things are looking for week one. This is the 31st of uh, May through to 7th of June. The coming week has below average heights to the north, northwest of us. Above average heights are in the, in the middle of the Atlantic and then extending to our south. We've got the jet stream coming through rather like that. Uh, so it looks quite unsettled in the week ahead. The below average heights would bring in low pressure and that would uh, give us showers or longer spells of rain. No problems with temperatures. Winds are in from the south-southwest, so temperatures will be holding up okay, but it would be quite unsettled in the week ahead. Uh, week two is looking like this. It's the 7th through to the 14th of uh, June. We've got the above average heights sitting to our east, below average heights are to our west, probably bringing up quite a warm southeasterly wind. Um, the low pressure in the Atlantic could, though, generate some uh, heavy showers. Might even turn a bit thundery there on that sort of uh, solution. And then weeks three and four look like that. So above average heights then starting to set up towards Iceland. Otherwise, not much else going on. There's a weak area of below average heights around Scandinavia and also in the Atlantic. So with high pressure seemingly going to our northwest, we might start to run in the jet stream and some low pressure to ourselves. So that could actually, it's a two-week anomaly, so it might be transitional, but it could eventually be progressing to something a little bit cooler and a little bit more unsettled there, perhaps, as we go towards the closing stages of, uh, of June. This is the tropical and mid-latitude uh, view, the UK and Ireland in the top right-hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it. We can't see the North Pole, that's off the chart up here, but uh, of course we just looked at that view down so we know what's happening from the pole down into the mid-latitude. So this is week one, it's the 31st of May, 7th of June, below average heights out to our west-northwest, above average heights in, middle of, um, in the middle of the Atlantic. We're getting the jet stream coming through across the country like that, so it looks rather showery uh, in the week ahead, particularly to the north and the west of the country. Temperature anomalies are close to or slightly above average, so there's no real problem with temperatures in the week ahead. It does look very warm, maybe hot through central parts of uh, Europe. And then as we go through to the precipitation anomaly, though, it does look quite unsettled in the week ahead from the 31st of May, 10th of June. We're coming out above average with, uh, with rainfall in the coming weeks. So no problems with temperatures, but it does look quite unsettled. Uh, then we're through to week two, which is the 7th through to the 14th of June, with the above average heights out to our east, the average heights to our west. Uh, might be a little bit volatile, might be a little bit thundery, and possibly bringing in wind from a southeasterly direction. So I would have thought temperatures lift up in this week. That's what the model is showing. It's actually um, warming things up. So temperature anomalies are going between 1 and 2 degrees above average, quite significantly warmer than average in the week ahead. Precipitation anomalies, again, looking unsettled. Maybe surprisingly if that area of above average height setting up to our east, but there we go, we're above average with precipitation. I suspect it might be a little bit thundery there as the temperatures lifting up. Winds are going into the southeast. It might be turning rather thundery. And then we go through to weeks three and four with a high pressure rain setting up towards ice, which of course we can't see, but we've looked at that, um, at that 
North Pole view down. So we know the high pressure going up towards Iceland. Low pressure through there. So possibly just starting to undercut the jet stream uh, a little bit. The temperature anomaly in uh, weeks three and four, uh, slightly above average. So generally quite a warm June coming up if the JMA is right all uh, all four weeks with above average um, temperatures but also unsettled the precipitation anomaly is still above average so warm and unsettled really is the signal uh, for June from the JMA let's see how let's see how the CFS compares so again these are 500 millibar heights they're broken down to week periods the first week period takes us from the 31st of May to the 6th of June with the coming week having below average heights over and to the west of us. And that brings in uh, the Atlantic flow. So it is quite an unsettled week. I mean, you expect showers or long spells of rain. There won't be any problems with temperatures. It should be relatively, uh, relatively warm week um, with temperature anomaly, but certainly it does look quite unsettled. Week two looks like this, if a 7th to the 13th of June, the above average heights then across central and eastern parts of Europe, but also going northwards as well, below average heights out to our west. Looks warm and potentially still quite unsettled there, maybe thundery, good agreement really between the two models in terms of what's happening in both weeks one and weeks two. Week three uh, looks like this. It's the 14th to the 20th of June. And then the high pressure just takes over. So we've got an area of above average heights pretty much sitting over the top of the country, actually, in week three. Winds are probably in from the east. There's a lot of dry weather on offer. And temperatures would be uh, pretty warm, I would have thought. Then all change for week four. It's the 21st of June to the 27th. Uh, as we start to take that area of above average heights north. So setting up northern blocking uh, again there. A trough of low pressure looks like it's setting up over the top of the country. So that, that looks a lot more unsettled and you would have thought a lot cooler as well. Jet stream is being pushed southwards. And uh, so it will change as we go into kind of like the last week of June, which is really what you want to be seeing in the last week of June. But there we go. It's going uh, a lot cooler and a lot more unsettled there. But it is four weeks away. So obviously it's the most unreliable part of all of this. Uh, this is how the temperature anomalies are looking. So 31st of May, 6th of June, coming week, has above average temperatures for England and Wales, nearer North Scotland and Northern Ireland. In fact, maybe a little bit cooler than average uh, up there. But a warm week coming up for England and Wales and a very hot week again forecast for much of Central and Eastern Europe. We go through to week two. It's when winds are kind of like hinted to be sort of south -easy. so maybe a bit surprising, but it's not warmer than this. It's the 7th to the 13th of June, just close to average temperatures, uh, really. Then through to week three, which is the 14th to the 20th of June, as high pressure takes over and sits across the country. Temperature anomalies then are a sort of average to warmer than average, so that is a warmer week coming up there. But then it goes quite cool in week four. That's as the high pressure becomes northern blocking, type uh, features and uh, we get the set up over top of the UK find the temperature taking a tumble going cooler than average that's running up towards the Glastonbury Festival of course so there'll be a few concerns uh, about that from people watching I would have thought uh, but it is four weeks away so it's not particularly uh, not particularly to be overly concerned about uh, it's the most unreliable part of uh, this update Finally, precipitation. So uh, week one, precipitation looks like this. 31st of May, 6th of June. Wetter than average for Scotland and Northern Ireland. Close to average for England and Wales. Quite an unsettled week coming up. Week two, also looking rather unsettled. This time it's England and Wales that are above average, or slightly above average with precipitation. Near or normal uh, elsewhere. Week three is, um, we're losing the signal now as we go third round, but week three, average two, I would have thought probably drier than average in that week. That high pressure looked pretty much centrally located over the top of the country there in week three, 14th to 20th of June. So you'd expect a warm, dry week for that week. This one you would expect to be wetter than average. It's just showing average precipitation again in week four, 21st to 27th of June. Uh, it's showing average precipitation. It, it's a weak signal now, four weeks away. Uh, but with the trough setting up over top of the country and high pressure going into the normal latitudes, I would have thought that's likely to be quite substantially wetter than average if the model is correct. Big if, of course, 
So it's looking like a rather changeable June, uh, actually, you have to say. Uh, so no sign of anything particularly anticyclonic for this June. I have to say that. There's no sign this time last year, of course, we was getting regular uh, signals for high pressure to be dominant and bring um, really hot weather. We had a very hot June uh, last year. Um, there's no consistent signal for that within any of this long range stuff at the moment. Did we um, did video yesterday? We included, we included the Beijing climate change. That did look a little bit better than these charts, I have to say, for warmer, drier conditions in uh, June. But overall, it's a mixed bag. It's not a total write off. I think if these um, long range models are right, there will be some warm and dry weather uh, in this June. But uh, overall, it does look a little bit mixed. It looks a little bit unsettled. Well, one thing that is coming through quite clear is that temperatures shouldn't be uh, particularly bad through most of it. So relatively warm June, but it does look like quite an unsettled, changeable, mixed June uh, coming up, if this is right. And quite a change on what we had in June uh, last year. As ever, these long-range models are highly experimental, so they're prone to chopping and changing, and they could look very different next week. This is just a snapshot of what they're showing uh, this week, but they could all it could all look very, very different uh, next week. Um, any forecast beyond sort of five days comes with a huge health warning. When you're talking about sort of two, three, four weeks away, then uh, that really is... Um, in the realm of uh, don't take it too seriously. But it's an indication that may be a relatively changeable June uh, on the way. Right, so that's it for your first video for today. We'll be back later on with your week 10 day video update, including uh, all of regular features in that one. So uh, come back later on this afternoon for that. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.